Honorable President, may I have your permission to commence the award presentation ceremony? Thank you. I am delighted to address this August gathering on the occasion of International Women's Day. International Women's Day is celebrated across the globe to recognize women and their contribution to society. On this day, Ministry of Women and Child Development confers the Nari Shakti Puraskars. The Nari Shakti Award is the highest and most prestigious Indian national award conferred by the President of India upon exceptional women in recognition of their achievement in promoting positive change and being exemplars amongst women. Literally translating to women power, this award specifically recognizes unsung heroes or heroines who spearhead change and demonstrate a tangible impact in their immediate communities. The women recognized by this award have a history of overcoming seemingly insurmountable obstacles to courage and foresight to bring about positive change that they wish to see in the world. Each awardee is an inspiration, does India proud, and is a trailblazer in her innovation. The awardees are handpicked through a select committee. These awards are named after six illustrious women of India, Rani Rudrama Devi, Mata Jijabai, Kanagi Devi, Rani Gedin Liu, Zeliang, Devi Ahilya Bai Holkar, and Rani Lakshmi Bai. Sir, we are fully committed to pr promoting women's rights and gender equality in all our policies and planning. The Beti Bachao Beti Padhao BBBP, launched by the Honorable Prime Minister last year to save the girl child, educate the girl child program, has shown a major shift in attitudes towards the girl child and places emphasis on educating her. A year later, many states have shown improvement, and particularly Haryana has shown an exemplary improvement in the sex ratio at birth. It is improved to 903 in December 2015, the first time in a decade that it has crossed 900. Initially, the scheme was implemented in 100 selected districts. And keeping in mind the criticality of the issue and the success of the scheme, we are now expanding it to 61 districts covering 11, most, 11 states. Sukanya Sumridhi Yojana, launched by our government, has been well accepted by the masses in the wake of the financial security and independence it would provide to the girl child, as well as their parents and guardians. We have seen progress for equality through government initiatives of creating one-stop centers to provide an integrated support and assistance to women affected by violence. The scheme aims at facilitating and providing medical aid, police assistance, legal counseling, court case management, psychosocial social counseling, and temporary shelter to women affected by violence. The scheme for universalization of, a whim, of women's helplines are intended to provide 24 hours Im, immediate and emergency response to women affected by violence is also on stream. We are planning to substantially expand the one-stop center infrastructure in the coming months. There are many other initiatives that we have started in the Ministry of Women and Child Development during the last 20 months or so to empower women. The Sabla scheme for out-of-school adolescent girls is being expanded to cover all districts in the country. The special Mahila Police Volunteer Scheme is being launched shortly to connect ordinary women citizens of the country with police authorities so as to fight gender violence. The Gender Champion Program has been initiated in educational institutions to educate young boys and girls about the principles of gender equality. I am happy to inform you that a very large number of organizations as well as government authorities have joined hands with us to take forward the agenda of the development of women and to help them reclaim their space in, the, in national development. I would like to thank the Honorable President for gracing this occasion today and for distributing the Nari Shakti Puruskars that symbolize the invincible spirit of the women of India. I would like to congratulate all the awardees and the jury for having done uh, a good job. Before I finish off the written speech, I'd like to thank the President of India from the deepest core of my heart for having organized and agreed to take part in the 100 women that we had for lunch. These were women. It was a completely unique program. We combined with Facebook to, for women to be identified by 5,000 of their peers who would say that these women did a good job. And whoever got the highest number of, uh, of votes on the Facebook 
was then, it was a very simple thing. They came to Rashtrapati Bhavan, where the Honorable President uh, had very graciously given them the most amazing lunch. They have never forgotten it. In fact, they're writing books amongst themselves. They've never been recognized by anybody. And it was truly charming to see them like butterflies coming from villages and tehsils suddenly to Rashtrapati Bhavan, which they could only have dreamt of. Thank you, sir, for your generosity. Thank you. Institutional Puraskar. Rani Rudramma Devi Puraskar milta hai Angadi Puram Gram Panchayat Malla Puram Kerala ko. Shri Kesuvan O, President Gram Panchayat Angadi Puram is Puraskar ko grahan kar rahe hai. Karnagi Devi Puraskar Hasil Kia hai Haryana Rajini Puraskar ko grahan kar rahe hai Shri JS Desi Chief Secretary Haryana. Haryana mein child sex ratio or sex ratio at birth mein sakaratmak parinam hasil huye hai beti bachao beti padhao ke antargat anukarniya kari huye hai. Rani Gaidin Liu Ziliang Puraskar, Ye Puraskar Hasil Kia hai, Gudia Swayam Sevi Sanstha, Varanasi Uttar Pradesh ne, Shri Achit Singh, founder, is Puraskar ko grahan kar rahe hai, is Sanstan ne, ortho or bachoko sexual exploitation, forced prostitution or trafficking se azad karake, unke adhikar unhe dilvai. Jagori Dili, Srimati Geetha Nambisan, Director Jagori is Puraskar ko grahan kar rahi hai. Jagori ne 30 saalon se aurton ke prati jagrupta ki alag jaga kar, ek aise samaj ki soch par bal diya, jis mein mahilaon ke saath bhed bhao na ho. Devi Ahilyabai Holkar Puraskar, Puraskar vijeta hai, Konuklata Mahila Urban Cooperative Bank Assam, Srimati Lakmi Barua, MD, is Puraskar ko hasil kar rahi hai. ये आसाम का पहला महिला बैंक है इसकी वर्किंग कैपिटल 7 करोड़ रुपए से ज्यादा है और 28000 कस्टमर्स तक इसकी पहुंच है Rani Lakshmi Bai Puraskar Prapt Kia Hai, Technology Information Forecasting and Assessment Council, TIFAC, Department of Science and Technology Ne, Shri Prabhat Ranjan, Executive Director, Is Puraskar Ko Grahan Kar Rahe Hai, Scheme Ke Zariye Mahilaon Ko Rozgar Pradhan Kar Raha Hai. Breakthrough Trust, Delhi, Shrimati Sonali, Vice President, Is Puraskar Ko Grahan Kar Rahi Hai, Ye Trust Mahilaon Aur Ladkiyon Par Hone Wali Hinsa Aur Bhed Bhao Ke Khilaaf, Ek Muhim Chala Raha Hai. Individual Category Me Nari Shakti Puraskar, Sister Lucy Kurian, Maharashtra, Aap Pichle 18 Saalon Se Mahilaon Aur Bachchon Ke Liye Kaam Kar Rahi Hai, NGO Ki Isthaap Na Kar Ke, Aap Ne Mahilaon Ko Sharan Di, 2,349 Mahilaon Ko Naya Jeevan Diya, Aur Baal Vivaah Ko Roka. Dr. Shemati Saurabh Suman, Bihar, Aap NGO Bihar Seva Sansthan Ki Secretary Hai, बिहार की महिलाओं के कल्याण और सशक्तिकरण के लिए कार्य कर रही हैं। श्रीमती वसंती देवी उत्तराखंड आप एक पर्यावरण विद हैं जिन्होंने जंगलों की कटाई के खतरों और कोसी नदी को सूखने से बचाने हेतु महिलाओं को जागरूक किया। Shrimati Suparna B. Ganguly, Karnataka. You are a Samarpit Pariyavaran Vid and an animal activist. Animal Welfare Agency, Compassion Unlimited Plus Action ki founder member. Hai. Dr. Meena Sharma, Rajasthan. Gaon ki prisht bhoomi ki Meera, एक जानी मानी पत्रकार हैं आपने स्टिंग ऑपरेशन के जरिए कई सोशल इश्यूज को लोगों की नजरों में लाने का कार्य किया श्रीमती उत्तरा परवार मध्य प्रदेश आप प्रयास शिक्षा समिति नाम की संस्था चला रही हैं आपने गरीब बच्चों को निशुल्क शिक्षा जनता की भागीदारी से स्कूल का निर्माण और विकास कार्यों से गांव में बदलाव की शुरुआत की 
श्रीमती पोनुमती विजया निर्मला आंध्र प्रदेश आप महिलाओं और बच्चों के अधिकारों के लिए काम कर रही हैं ताकि ट्रैफिकिंग और अब्यूज को रोका जा सके सुश्री वासु प्रिमलानी दिल्ली आपने दुनिया भर में अपनी स्टैंड अप कॉमेडी परफॉर्मेंस दिए जिसमें आपने कंटेम्प्रेरी इश्यूज कवर किए मसलन पर्यावरण महिलाओं की सुरक्षा रेप और डाइवर्सिटी इश्यूज इत्यादि श्रीमती सुजाता साहू हरियाणा आप अपने 17,000 फीट फाउंडेशन के जरिए लद्दाख के दूर दराज के गांवों में स्कूली शिक्षा की क्वालिटी इंप्रूव करने के मद्देनजर कार्य कर रही हैं श्रीमती ज्योति महापसिकर महाराष्ट्र आप स्त्री मुक्ति संगठन की फाउंडर मेंबर हैं पर्यावरण और वेस्ट मैनेजमेंट पर कार्य कर रही हैं आप एक जानी मानी प्ले राइटर भी हैं श्रीमती सुमिता घोष दिल्ली आप रंग सूत्र सामाजिक संगठन की फाउंडर और मैनेजिंग डायरेक्टर हैं ये संस्था कम्युनिटी और बाजार के जरिए ग्रामीण इलाकों का समेकित विकास के लिए काम कर रही है श्रीमती अंजलि शर्मा दिल्ली आप इंटीग्रल लॉ ऑफिस नाम की लॉ फर्म में बतौर सीनियर एसोसिएट प्रैक्टिस कर रही हैं आप एनिमल वेलफेयर बोर्ड की लीगल एडवाइज़र और एग्जीक्यूटिव कमेटी की मेंबर भी हैं श्रीमती कृष्णा यादव दिल्ली आपने पढ़ाई तो नहीं की पर ग्रामीण विकास और उद्यमशीलता के लिए जम के कार्य कर रही हैं विडोज को निःशुल्क और विकलांग युवाओं को आपने प्रशिक्षित किया श्रीमती शकुंतला मजूमदार महाराष्ट्र आप थाने एसपीसीए की फाउंडिंग मेंबर हैं आप एनिमल वेलफेयर और पर्यावरण के लिए 20 से भी ज़्यादा सालों के तजुर्बे वाली जानवरों के प्रति संवेदनशील महिला हैं श्रीमती मेनिका संजय गांधी मिनिस्टर फॉर वुमेन एंड चाइल्ड डेवलपमेंट श्री भी सोमसुंदरन Secretary Ministry of Women and Child Development Awardees of Nari Shakti Awards 2015 Distinguished guests ladies and gentlemen It's a great pleasure for me to welcome all of you to this 85 year old building and particularly to this historic darbar hall which has witnessed many important events of contemporary period which has determined our future future of the subcontinent and also to a great extent the future of the emerging world even today's function thanks to dynamic minister shrimati manika sanjoy gandhi would not have been possible but for the change which took place in this very hall itself on 14th 15th august midnight when 190 years old rule of the british colony came to an end and we achieved independence that's why i was referring to the many historic changes which have witnessed this high dome magnificent colors and tiled floor once again i welcome you for this function I would like to convey my sincere 
greetings to the women of our country and the world on the occasion of the International Women's Day. It's a matter of great satisfaction that we in India celebrate the day by acknowledging the achievements of exceptional women and men, the spirit and fortitude exhibited by them in challenging circumstances and the outstanding effort of individual women and institutions for the cause of women. The Nadi Shakti Puraskar is therefore a token of the nation's appreciation of these women and institutions for their effort to make a difference and improve the condition of lives of women in our country. The awards are intended also to inspire others to contribute and give hope and succor to women, particularly the vulnerable and marginalized. To my mind, any effort, big or small, is equally valuable. It is the spirit and attitude that these initiatives inculcate within us, which I consider most important. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, I congratulate the proud recipients of the national honor and thank them for their contribution. I am filled with pride and happiness at seeing how women at India are taking great strides towards assuming leadership roles and challenging responsibilities in all spheres of life. But I'm equally distressed and concerned that a converse dimension of our society has of late been revealing its grotesque nature every now and then. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, we must remind ourselves most emphatically and as often as we can that every member of our society, male or female, has equality, the right to live in security, peace and dignity. It is intolerable that in this day and age, women are still being exposed to barbaric brutality and violence because they are women. Violence or fear of violence reduces the freedom and development of everyone, particularly the women and children. But more than that, it diminishes our society, which it allows such inhuman treatment of its women rather than guarantee their safety, security, and equal rights. On this day, let us all, government, civil society, and people at large, place to work together for developing relevant legal, administrative, and other measures to ensure the safety and security of our mothers and sisters. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, 
I often hear of women not being given the opportunity or permission to do something. I would say, why wait for others to give you what is your right? The minds of our women should be empowered. The mindsets of our people must evolve. They must realize that it is in the society's own interest to create the conditions for their women to freely exercise choice at home and in workplace without any restrictions or fear. As we know, gender equality is a key driver for inclusive economic growth and social progress. A greater focus on women's access to resources and control over these resources and more emphasis on improving the health and nutrition of girls and women is a vital necessity. Improving women's health, raised productivity within families and communities, and sets the standards for future generations. Community program for efficient implementation of the government policy have proved to be among the best instruments for the broadest outreach. I'm glad to know that the Ministry of Women and Child Development, under the dynamic leadership of its minister, Srimuthi Manaka Sanjay Gandhi, has conceived a village convergence and facilitation services program at Gram Panchayat level. Women regardless of their social environment, religion or economic standing, have a unique capacity to change attitudes for achieving development and change. I'm confident that the Betty, Betty Bachao, Betty Podao program will be successful in addressing malnutrition maternal mortality, and bridging gap to improve the status of women in our society. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, in a diverse and burgeoning population of our country, selecting the right approach and implementing it is always an enormous daunting task. However, government can certainly partner with the private sector and widespread network of our civil society organizations to do this better. Best practices for the development of women that have worked well at the grassroots in states, union territories, and sometimes other countries should be adopted and upscaled in government of India scheme. The key and urgent priority is to develop a comprehensive approach to the holistic empowerment of women, an effective convergence of all elements, social, economic, and political, could serve to facilitate this. I recall the words of Swami Vivekananda, and I quote, the best thermometer to the progress of a nation is its treatment of its women. Continuing, he says, as is strongly believed, 
all nations have attained greatness by paying proper respect to women, that country and that nation which do not respect women have never become great and not ever will be in future." Unquote. Ladies and gentlemen, with these words, I once again congratulate the recipients of the Nari Shakti Puraskar and the Ministry of Women and Child Development and its dynamic leader for organizing this event. I thank the distinguished awardees for their efforts and commitment and wish them success in their future endeavors. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Jai Hind. Honorable President, may I seek your permission to conclude the ceremony? Thank you, sir.